Welcome to the Daily Business and Finance Show. Medical Properties Trust clears the air, debunking short sellers' claims, while ARK Invest projects a $10 trillion market for Tesla's Robotaxi fleet. Qualcomm holds off on Intel decisions until post-election, and Super Microcomputer rolls out new NVIDIA-powered servers. Oil prices dip amid reports of Israel's scaled-back plans against Iran, as Google Cloud tests NVIDIA's Blackwell line in their labs. Major earnings are on the horizon with ASML facing export challenges and Apple launching an AI-focused iPad mini. Stay tuned after the short ad break to dive deeper into these stories. Medical Properties Trust's board found no evidence of financial misconduct after an independent investigation into short-seller allegations. The company neither overpays tenants nor manipulates metrics. Following a recent settlement with Steward Healthcare, it aims to highlight its strong hospital real estate portfolio. Shares increased by 2% after hours. ARK Invest's Tasha Keeney talked about Tesla's recent event in Los Angeles, where they introduced new technologies like the Robovan and CyberCab. She mentioned that Tesla plans to launch a robotaxi network by 2025 or 2026, with rides costing as little as 30 cents per mile, which is much cheaper than current ride-hailing prices. Qualcomm is postponing its decision on acquiring Intel until after the U.S. presidential election to evaluate the potential antitrust stance of the new administration. The company might wait until January's inauguration. Qualcomm has also reached out to Chinese regulators about the deal, but hasn't received any feedback yet, according to Bloomberg. Super Microcomputer announced new AI servers using NVIDIA's latest Blackwell processors. These liquid-cooled servers will start full production late in the fourth quarter. Despite this, NVIDIA shares fell 5% on Tuesday, while Super Micro experienced a slight decline. Crude oil prices dropped by as much as 5% after Israeli Prime Minister Netanyahu expressed a preference for military action instead of targeting oil or nuclear sites in Iran. Additional factors included concerns over weak demand from China and lowered growth forecasts by the International Energy Agency. Energy stocks experienced notable losses. Google Cloud has announced that its servers are now utilizing NVIDIA's Blackwell line of graphics processing units. This comes after similar announcements from OpenAI and Microsoft. NVIDIA's CEO, Jensen Huang, highlighted the high demand for these products. Morgan Stanley and Wells Fargo have also commended NVIDIA's Blackwell line. Key earnings reports expected before Wednesday's market open include ASML Holding, Abbott Laboratories, Morgan Stanley, U.S. Bancorp, and Prologis. Additional companies reporting are Citizens Financial Group, First Horizon National Corporation, National Life Group of Switzerland, and Synchrony Financial. ASML Holdings shares fell by 17% following a disappointing forecast for 2025. This was partly due to stricter Dutch export controls on semiconductor equipment. Revenue projections were reduced to 30 to 35 billion euros, down from the previous range of 30 to 40 billion euros. Sales to China are anticipated to stabilize at 20% of total revenue next year. Apple has introduced a new iPad mini with the A17 Pro chip and an 8.3-inch liquid retina display. It comes in four colors, including blue and purple. The 128GB model is priced at $499 and supports Apple Pencil Pro, designed for artificial intelligence applications. Pre-orders begin today. Thanks for tuning into the Daily Business and Finance Show. Stay informed, stay ahead. Join us next time for more insights and updates. Goodbye. I'm Montgomery Jones. And I'm Amalia Dupre. Until we meet again tomorrow, have a great rest of your day or night. This content is sourced from the Seeking Alpha website, so support our podcast by becoming a Seeking Alpha Premium subscriber. See the show notes page for links to sign up. This episode is produced by Classic Studios. This podcast provides information only and should not be construed as financial or business advice. Check out our other podcasts in our network at classicstudios.com.